Hello, my good people. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you are hearing us from. Today, we want you to, you know, join Prime Minister Simon Eber while we discuss a lot of things that pertains to us. Yes, this is a live chat with him. I link you up exactly now. Thank you. The program has been interrupted by uh, many uh, people pairing the program, sir. All right, so we're going to go straight to, we're going, I'm not in my usual uh, place as you all can see. So we are going to go straight to your question and answer. And I don't want to actually, uh, you know, talk much about the, uh, about the Oluwale Mba, who have lost it to Biafra people today. But we are going to have a conversation. So I'm going to open the line, only question and answer and comment to those who wish to make a comment on the achievement and the success of today and how we commend Biafra people in Enugu State. I want to specifically thank entire Biafra people in Enugu State who stood their ground today to disgrace the criminals that parade themselves as elected governors in the Southeast. Your action today in Enugu State has proven that indeed we want nothing else other than the freedom of Biafra. This particular stand must be maintained till further notice. Enugu State illegitimate governor cannot give us and tell us what to do. He is not a Biafran by choice. And so, for that reason, he has no control over anything that happens in Biafra land. If he want to be relevant, he must begin to engage Abuja for the release of Mazin Ambika. Not on social media, not on Nigerian media, and not on Nigerian newspaper. He must begin to engage Abuja. Mazin Ambika is being detained illegally. Illegal detention. And somebody will come as an Igbo man who is a Biafran to begin to fight against our civil disobedience that we seek to demand his release. And they say that the seat at home is crumbling or crushing the economy. Yes, we want the economy of the government to crush. And that is why we are embarking on this seat at home. And it is only affecting the government economy, not the economy of the people. So our target is to crush the economy of the government. And that's what we are doing. And when I come to tell you the seat at home is destroying the economy, ask them, the time the seat at home was not there, what did they do with the economy? For the past 50 years, what can they say they have done with it? Look at Anambra, from Anambra to Enugu Expressway. It is not motorable. Was it seat at home that, that uh, destroyed the road? Was it seat at home that made it possible that you cannot go to hospital? and get treatment without having heavy money in your account? Is it our seat at home that is killing people and these 80 people that I've mentioned now? Is it our seat at home that have killed all the Christians in the north? Is it our seat at home that brought Boko Haram into the northern Nigeria? Is it our seat at home that made the president to always flew to the United Kingdom for medical treatment? Is it our seat at home that made it possible today that all the medical practitioners and all that health workers are trying to embark on strike. The economy has been there. It does not change anything. What we are fighting is for the good of everybody. And Enugu State people has proven once more that indeed the mandate to restore Biafra has been given to us. And we are going to restore Biafra this year. And like I said, those people who parade themselves as governors or elected officials has been given the vote of no confidence by the Biafra people. On the 29th of uh, May 2023. And that particular vote of no confidence is final. And I said that after this vote of no confidence, things will start to happen in Biafra land. And it 
which has started from the illegitimate governor of Enugu State called Oluwole Mba. And I want everyone who wants to be part of the discussion on your video and welcome. Oyeka, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Peace, Ambassador of the Universe. Atakata Abusia. Greetings. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Um, uh, on behalf of your friends, too, and on behalf of my Ebu Prime Minister and Lord MK, your friends, I thank you for discussing that uh, inconsequential, uh, uh, illegal, Nikon proof that they, their friends, openly. You know, it is an insult for any woman to come and tell their friends openly. The insult, even if you don't want to be against that fool, you must stand against him for him to come in openly to challenge their friends. Marzin Nam, the coming day, remain Monday. Monday is my case day. No government, no group, no individual. We dare. We dare tamper it. Only Biafras can. That is when Bogemeke is out and the is raised. Flag is raised. If you call yourself an evil man or a Biafra man, you show that you have the blood that runs in us and you dare be part of those who plot to disrupt it. Your days will be dark and slippery. I'm telling you. And also, not everybody. Some people are trying drugs. So, not everybody. So, when you see some at this very time, they come to talk like that. That's what they're doing. Ask the board that was in them. Their name must be conducted. If you have a to the man who, 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 who they check it, maybe they are not a board, okay? Every two board, that means must think like us. Even if you don't come out publicly, you will have the things that what they're doing is right. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you, Odogu Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I would like to. I would like to bring the BBC is sharing for the very first time. It is getting interesting. BBC Ibo. Let me bring what BBC Ibo is sharing. Good. And uh, very interesting. All right, BBC board. While Enugu State illegitimate governor, the criminal and certificate forger, was gallivanting, news media for the very first time want to start reporting the truth. Number one, who's on New Heaven? Toboro Chaco, are you hearing it? Who's on New Heaven, Toboro Chaco? Oto Manu Ubala, and where he on your non aya. Oh, 
na akoko di iche iche na enugu abanye iwu governor pe eh uh, oluwale mbanyere adu goja governor ogoro nke enugu state bu oluwale mba malitere oro ya dika eh educhara ya educhara ya iyi noro na ubochi uh, iri aboni toru nke onwa me 2023 otu na ime mm. bara uh, okuruguru oji malite oro ya bu ima okwa dara uda nke na amachi ndi mmado na kwa uh, ulo oro obola na state aho iso nye na iwu onye noro na ulo onye noro na ulo eji sita tuko mara na akoko na akoko owuwa anyangu nigeria ibu ibu aya ibu aya megide sita tuko na enugu dika osiri kuo ga, dika osiri kuo gam amalite na ubochi monde abalise nanke onwa june 2023 na akukwo ozi governor mba oluwole mba kes kesara na ubochi uh, saturday ma gwandi mado ka ha gara itu egu obula ipota ka ebe di hampa na ubochi monday makana government etinyela atomato iche kwa zuru oke na ebe di iche iche aku kwa ozi ahu governor pinyere aka na ya kurusi mke abu iji kwa ulo aku kwa ahia ulo ulo ahia ulo ahia ulo ogu ndi okwa ubala na oha oha oburu nile ka ha cheta na government emechi alama kabuo ono do sit at home na owuya na enugu state eno kwa na enishia oko ode eh you bring a picture when you do your compute compute for 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 it is big boy Oh, you yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, I love you. Yes, I love you so I love you all. I love you. Yes, I for public. I worry you. I worry you. I see this man. Come for me, contacting us. Our own land. Oh God. This well, one, I'm not going to do it. You defeated the uh, criminal. And then let me also bring the, uh, the video of the other one who was saying that Simon Epa is this and that. And that he is not on ground. Today we have been able to know who is on ground. Is it the governor or Biafra people? I think it's the If you don't let you give order now, let you they give order, then they don't give order. Any other from Simon Epa illegal. And who who obeys that kind of thing? Any order from Simon Eba, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Any order from Simon Eba is illegal. And who will base that kind of thing? Because that is in in. I am the one obeying. It's not even ground. Pin land. People will obey it here in Enugu State for what? With Simon Eba. With. Hey, but it won't happen again. Uh, if this happened before, it will not happen again. 
Because the man on board now will not bring that kind of a thing. Kill any citizen. And, and, and you wouldn't even have the power to do that. No, there will be no, 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 no chance for you to perpetrate that kind of that Look at a pregnant woman who came out to to sell her bacha to make a living and you mm. killed her not out mm -hmm. of her in the in the name of uh, 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 Simon Epa. Who is Simon Epa? Is Simon the governor of Where are you? Anybody who chooses to bet such murder is doing so at their own peril. Is doing so at their own peril. Okay. The state government under okay. under okay. The Governor Peter Mbass watch will not. Do not be tolerated. Yes. So if you go to ministries and all of these places, they are under lock and key every Monday. It's a no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can start some Friday. Yeah, so. How do you know what Especially in Enugu State. Yeah, it's on Tuesday. I, I was opportune to work in uh, uh, Omaha. Okay. Right. Okay. We're very close to my office. Was very close to Namdekano's hometown, Afaru. Okay, Afaru. Very, 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 very close to government house as well. So, and on Mondays, I of course I've made. Lord, then my case day can be tampered with any by any new compound. Let alone be flat like this man. Hometown, Afaru. Okay, Afaru. Very, 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 very close to government house as well. So, and on Mondays, I, of course, I've made my uh, 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 investigations. Their function, like uh, businesses, happen. People go on about their normal businesses. Banks are open around that place. You are talking about the leader. I said it. I said it today like, that Omaha doesn't obey you. Know, it's only Apa and so, Isha. You understand? In the whole of a boy state, nobody obeys that. Nobody obeys that. You, you understand? Can. It's just... Liar. Excuse me. I think it's the conciliatory attitude of His Excellency, Governor of Fine. Why? Everyone... Everywhere. Well, everyone has their own uh, predilection. And um, it worked for him. All right? But what we're saying... <laughs> let's, let's, please, let's concentrate on uh, what... Uh, Fevo, please, don't... don't. He who puts the, his hand on the plow, looking back, is not fit for the purpose. So, <laughs> Governor Gwani had done his bit, all right? And um, if anything, he was the one that... Brought him, Peter, Governor. Yeah, Peter. Who's going to say his hand for the broken of Kalana to do that? Well, he was the one that presented them by the people and does it. Yeah, on, 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 at the polls. He, uh, okay. he was the one that discovered them by say this is the candidate that will deliver a hand over to. He's a great, a great guy. Mm. All right, so so he's a he's oh, a another yeah. advantage as it were. But um, presently, uh, you see what Governor Ba had started doing. Began with executive orders, stopped illegal mining. Bad 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 bad. I'm telling you, these things bad bad. are gradually being implemented. Just watch and see how so many many so so every bit of the thing on Obama said he would do, he would do them. Right. So that is exactly the man who was bragging and bragging how the. Uh, and we, we need to we need to touch Obama this man on his Twitter. Grab Twitter accounts. I need to talk to this idiot. You have to, 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 to just bring other people to the, to the screen. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, uh, we have you, uh, Obia Julio and Drew. You're welcome to the program. Good evening from here, Obia Julio and Drew. Uh, I can't hear you. Are you there? Hello? Are you there? Can you touch can you touch the uh, the mic and unmute yourself? Otherwise you have to go out and come back again. Check your check your mic. Mike, please, very important. You are still, I can't hear you. So can you go out and come back and probably if you have a uh, earphone, you can try to use it. Thank you. 
All right, uh, we continue. Uh, Johnson, okay. you're welcome to the program. Okay. Yeah, good evening, my uh, PM. Again from here. Uh, PM, I want to ask something. It's not regarding about uh, this uh, forgery go uh, governor. Not for him. Go I ahead. want to ask a previous uh, broadcast you made about um, biometric uh, ID card for Bureau of France. Okay. Uh, the question I want to ask, uh, because you, you, talk, you, you talk about the security features of the uh, biometric. The question I want to where I have a worry how will you how will the government knows when people applying from various countries are not actually be friends? since it's something that's, that they will do online that is why you have to go before you can be Hello? Can you hear Hello? me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Yes. So, yes. So, before you can be issued uh, the national ID card of Biafra, Republic of Mountain Exile, you have to go for biometric uh, uh, data collection. Where your then office will take the necessary, uh, you know, uh, investigation, uh, the necessary uh, question and physical interview, plus other required other documents that you'll be required to submit, you know, to prove that you are a Biafra. So this is going to be the beginning of the identification of the Biafra people. So. Those are the liaison office will be giving step by step how to uh, uh, take the application physically and how to uh, you know interrogate or interview the applicant coming for fingerprinting because you have to first of all apply online and then you go physically for fingerprinting at the liaison office before your application will be investigated at the head office of the Biafra Republic of Indonesia for approval. After the approval, the, uh, the government in uh, the headquarters of the Biafra Republic of Indonesia will now send that particular uh, communication to the Lazen office in Finland for printing. So the printing of the ID card is done in Finland. No other place in the world for security okay. reasons. Okay. Because the reason why I ask the question, I'm happy the answer you give me. The reason why I ask the question, you know, now in 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 Nigeria, any country can have, can get Nigerian passport, you know, and they're committing crime in in, in the outside the world uh, in the name of Nigerians. Actually, they're not Nigerians. So, so I just hope. Yes. So, 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 never, never, never. It doesn't apply. And let me also. Uh, because it asked the question, let me also uh, answer or clarify some certain things. You know, I have I have uh, you know read some places where some idiots are saying, oh, that uh, how can uh, Biafra passport Mami. is not valid? And, the, and then if somebody is telling you that ID card is valid. You know, that is to show the level of ignorance of the people. That claim to be fighting for Biafra. Okay? The Biafra Republic government in Ezal ID card is valid anywhere in the world. But the passport is not yet a valid traveling. Right? Now let me explain why. The reason why the ID card is valid is that if there are actually people that know how to do research, they will understand that government in exile is legitimate anywhere in the world. It left for countries to validate you as a nation. It left for any country to choose to work with you. 
You left for any country or organization you choose to go into agreement, into treaty with that government in exile. So government in exile on its own, once registered, become legitimate. And one of the things that the government in exile does is to issue identity card to its citizens. So with this particular status, it means that any identity card we are going to issue to anybody in the world become valid and respectable anywhere in the world. I want to also inform you that government in exile is also responsible in a place like what we have in Biafra land now to control military of that particular government in the homeland. So the government in exile responsibility is numerous. One is to issue identity card which will be recognized by any nation who believe that they can go into agreement. Apart from that, it is going to serve as a legitimate identification card for those citizens of those countries, of, of that uh, uh, government in exile, especially those seeking for international protection. So the ID card will now validate you as an asylum seeker anywhere in the world, not just about your asylum seeking, but it also gives more credence to you as a dear friend seeking for international protection anywhere in the world. So, you know, the in addition that you will be given by the government, the ID card now validates you more. Then, in addition to that, we now take charge and total control of the Biafra Liberation Army. So what it means is that if you go and research on what the government in exile responsibilities are, ID card is one of them, controlling the army is one of them, organizing referendum is one of them, and immediately organizing election also is one of them. So what you see us doing now, I want to, I want to review one secret to you people today. And it's very important that I review this secret. What you see, I have mentioned now that the government in Ezra can organize election. Okay? Now, when the time comes, we, we are setting up the Biafra de facto government in the homeland. And today, we are ordering it as well, and people are respecting it, people are obeying it, and we enjoy this particular loyalty. So by the time we finish what we are doing, you know you people don't know what is coming, by the time we finish what we are doing, we are going to conduct a referendum on our own. And we are going to invite international observers to come and supervise our own referendum. And we are going to call the result of that referendum and it becomes final. Once that is done and the result is out, whatever you see in Biafra land as in Nigeria, you take it. You understand the point now? Yeah. So I want you to go and check what government in Ezra can do for its country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. Thank you. God bless you. Bless you too. So if they, if they tell you that Nigeria cannot give you a referendum. Forget them. Don't mind them. We are not waiting to give us a referendum. We are going to organize that referendum ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's me again. You're welcome to the program. Down the lane. You're welcome to the program. Yes, I greet you handsomely. Yes. I want us, I want us to take memory down the lane, sir. Go ahead. Um during you usually play one broadcast, which you said is the last broadcast of uh, Martin Nam the Yes. Uh, where do you You say where? Yes, we understand that he was as um, Israel, then Kenya. So where do you think that that where do you think he made that last group pass from before his kidnapping? Well, I wouldn't know, but we understand that he made that broadcast a few weeks before he was kidnapped. Okay, uh, this question is for a narrative that has been going round. For the past two years because i understand that after you give um order of sit at home 
some group of people that call themselves IPOB, we counter the other like what happened yesterday and today, saying there is no seat at home. And um, and that reminds me, I uh, will make a request that you stop making reference with Sahara Reporter. If there is any newspaper from Buhari family, it is good to make reference with them than, than making reference Sahara. from Sahara good, Reporter. Good, 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 observation. good observation and noted. Go ahead. I haven't said that. So, um, some people... We are saying that the uh, Sahara Reporter carry, for instance, that IPOB council sit at home, a uh, Monday sit at home. And I begin to wonder who gives these people power? Apart from the election that took place that nullify those um, DOS, but who handed IPOB to them? That's why I ask where Mazen Nam the Kano made up broadcast and i'll start by saying there is this um burkina first uh, president thomas sankara that died and his vice took over blaze campura it happened that it was his vice that killed him and took over so it wasn't thomas sankara that handed burkina Faso to blaze campura so this DOS, this narrative that Mazen Nam the Kano handed IPOB to DOS or Chikai Doze, it's not true. And uh, well, that's why I asked where he made that last book as well. Now, I have observed that they sold him, they betrayed him to take over IPOB. Mazen Nam the Kano never yes. handed IPOB to anybody. So they don't even have the legitimacy. To talk to Biafrans. The only person Mazen Nam the Kano recommended to Biafrans is Simon Epa. So, so then, I, I would like you through this platform to tell the whole world, and I'm saying it now, that Mazen Nam the Kano never announced because he never knew he was going to be kidnapped. They kidnapped yes. him. So there was never a time he handed. IPOB over to DOS. They are a bunch of fools. He knows. They are there where he was crying for 300 minutes. So let's stop exactly. that one. Exactly. And lastly, no, but you know, but you know, I believe I believe that uh, you know we have even come uh, above all this all these ones because Biafra people have spoken for the past two years. Anytime they come to do this nonsense, Biafra have defeated them, disgraced them. Yet they keep writing. This is not the first time they have written all this rubbish. They have to not follow them again and them because they know the truth. Now, Ohaneze have done it the same thing for the past two years. There is nothing they have not done. They have placed 100,000, uh, they have placed $50,000 bounty on my head. It did not work. They placed 100,000 bounty on my head. It did not work. That is, so, when Ohaneze come down and join, uh, uh, you know, as if something is going to happen. He's going to see how Biafra will deal with him in Enugu State. Go ahead. Uh, why it's necessary we make this clarification is we want Biafrans don't have money, and uh, when the government is sort of facing the road of uh, all the those being at um, on a chart, they will be paying these people forty million to make announcements because from yes. the best for knowledge, their price for every announcement. Especially to a map of 40 million naira. We don't know. Yes. In fact, all of them are 40, 40 million. We don't know into how many branches. It doesn't serve that way. These people are not, if Mas Namdikani didn't recognize them, so to save their money, because they are listening to this program, I tell you. Yes. Now, now, you know what's going to shock you? Let, me, let me show you. When did you hear that Oyendu say, Oyendu say last? Mm. Mm -hmm. Because the, the prop opponent has been captured. The eye of uh, 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 the government in IPOB it, has been captured. It is running away. It is running away from when you do. I'm serious. Yes. This As thing uh, that has been bothering me. As I'm talking to you now, he is running away. Okay. Yes. 
Now a motivational speaker. He is now praying for people. So, but um, let let's leave that aside. Yes. You you usually say that if Biafra comes, like every other nation, um, when Biafra comes, you say when Biafra come, like every other nation, there will be fight among us. Then we settle to forge forward. Is it that mm. if the fight didn't happen? Simon Epa will instigate fight or something. Given our way of life, that violence is not our first approach to every issue. Via France as a whole. Given our exposure to what has happened before to other people, do you think that the Biafran people will take that route? Will, will it still be necessary? Don't you think we will do something else, like um, the, like our natural way of settling issue among us, which is not necessarily violent? One moment, because I got a very important and uh, very thunderous message. So ask the question again. Yes, go ahead. Uh, in most times, you usually say when Biafra comes, there will be internal conflict, which will be settled to yeah. make a good modality on how to govern ourselves. But given yes. the kind of people we are, which we don't settle, we don't um, see violence or fighting as our first approach to problem. Given our exposure to what has been happening, what to what has been felt to other nations, don't you think mm -hmm. that we will not take that route, or will someone ever instigate the fight? Well, uh, I'm not sure if I can answer this question. Many of us 
uh, in the Western world, developed world, and we, some of us are experts in conflict resolution. So we, we bring something to the table to solve that particular problem. But it, whether it is going to come, yes, it is going to come. But we are going to solve it. Okay. Um, I understand what you said. And dear friends, do understand that. Then this um, DBT, something that you read, BBC have never been a reliable source of information. For instance, yep. their headline no, says... Yes. But this one is... But this this one is real, at least. Yeah, their headline, their yeah. headline, their headline. Your the voice is not coming out. Say what? Say, ah, the yeah, the the say what? Uh, say, um, sit at home, ADL. You understand? They say sit at no, home as ending. Uh, mba, sit at home, that's not what I say. No, let me let me show you now. Let us not uh, always quote, even when some media have been misleading people, whenever they report good things, we must acknowledge them. Okay? Now, what they say here is not that sit at home, maybe is a question mark. So we, we have to bring that question mark. Look at it here. They say sit at home, a Biela Nenugu state. It's a question. Which means has Peter uh, sit at home ended in any state? Then they continued. Leka honor the ebedi. Leka honor the ebedi. So which means it's a question mark. The question is sit at home will be ella. The answer is no. Then they went ahead to start giving you point by point the road able to pochako to pochachako. So the, uh, here it means that they are also very it to the public that. Sit at home now, end the paper. Had your question or end the other, the Enugu state. Mba, Agazian and their report now telling you how everywhere we're scanned. So this is not a, a wrong, a, a wrong report. That is why you look at my guy now. We have come see our struggle. You know how I was struggling to read the Hebrew. <laughs> you know, but there is. So if you cannot understand your own Hebrew language, you cannot understand it. <laughs> When they are from we 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 read it in a language, not like Igbo written, not like English written. We read yes, we read it so that after I go to I get to work alone. What the chalak alone? Think about it. Go there. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And there we go. No. All right, uh, we continue. Uh, Chris, you're welcome to the program. Uh, I'm PM. I'm PM. Yes, there were one there. Yes, there were. Our people, our people, they always make us proud, you know? Yeah. Yes. They always make us proud. Yeah. Because the. Yes. Because they, 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 the so called, uh, uh, Oluwale, it's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to be asked to lose them outside, you know? Before coming up to, you know, to, it's equal, something, something like that, you know? So, but all those, all those, so, you know, this, this I, I may go, so, they are, it's very consequential, so they are told me, you know? Uh, but any, any hand that I would have, we'll give it to them, you know? Of course, I go. Yeah, anyhow, that would be for them. Yeah. Once you know, Java is here. You know? That's what that's, that's, Java is here. Whether they like it or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whether they like it or not. They were one there. I just think I'm going to look at them. Yeah? They were. They were. Yeah, they were one there. Take care. Take care. I'm going to look at them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. Take care. Yeah. All right, we'll continue. I'm a Nkechi autopilot. Very interesting name. This must be a hard hey. Mazi, my PM, good evening. <laughs> From Biafra land. Oh. From Biafra land. From Biafra land. <laughs> yes. Wow. 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 The only, re wow. only reverend sister. 
Hey, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm only calling to tell you that I am so so excited. Huge yes. success everywhere. Unsoka to be yes. precise. Everywhere. They, are, they locked up everywhere in short. Yeah? So we thank God for our uh, we thank God for our success today. I equally want to thank you so so much for your steadfastness, eh? your your boldness, your everything. <laughs> thank you, my brother. May God continue to keep you for us now and always. And I equally want to tell our uh, brothers and sisters, the Bia friends, that uh, Ndu before his kidnap, hmm? that's dismantled everything about structure. The very time he said that we should follow Simon, listen to Simon, share his. That Simon will take this struggle to another dimension was the very day he buried anything concerning structure. And we, are, we really thank God that you came up and you stood your ground. I used to tell people that Simon is the key to new dimension. And you have taken us to that liberation period stage. We really thank God for you. Keep on keeping on. Oh, Jishike. I even want to see Sanye Chetagi Nek, but it's UFO. That was so... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are going to uh, end the broadcast here because I have another... I have another uh, meeting this evening before I sleep. So I want to thank you all. Remember that uh, uh, tomorrow we're going to come with uh, a different uh, program. Don't miss our tomorrow broadcast. May God bless you. God bless Masina Bikano. May God bless Igboho and Co. May God bless Umar and the husband. May God bless our government in exile. May God bless our media team. May God bless all the cabinet, all the SNs and others. May God bless the Intending what is this? That's all the Eastern Security Network, Biafra Liberation Army, and all of you supporting Biafra financially and otherwise. May God bless our partners who are showing interest to support Biafra. God bless you from here, from me. Wow, thank you, Prime Minister, for a quick response and intelligent response at this. Dear friends, you can see we are moving forward. God will help us. Gates of hell shall not prevail against Biafran people. We must leave Nigeria. And that is the news we have for you today. Thank you, and God bless you.